YouTube. This is Dennis. High anxiety bullies and balls. Well, high anxiety bully fam, you know. I gotta move to get my ball pythons. I do have a couple of my fish. I got a lot of different things I, I, I'm into to try to help me with my anxiety. I started out with fish. I had some ball pythons in the past. I think about get, I've been thinking about getting back in that. I originally started the channel to get back into that. But right now I'm focusing on the bulls. I might focus on my fish too. I might start putting my fish on my channel too. But we'll see. Um, wanted to show you our foundation female. And what a foundation female should look like. This is a foundation female micro American bully. Yeah, uh, bear with me on because I only got one arm here. But I'm gonna get my little mamas. Let me get my mamas out here, show y'all how she's hold on a second. I'm here I come YouTube. I will I will learn how to edit videos and stuff too. <laughs> I ain't got that far yet. But uh here she go. Snap back after her first litter. And we're gonna breed her her second or next heat. Already got a stud picked out. Very clean American bully, a miniature American bully. I got three actually picked out, um, just in case they fall through. I got one, two, three, in that order. So, um, the two of them are the one that I have really, the one that I want to really breed to is a uh, what do they call it? Is a try. He's one of them um, light lilac tries. Yeah, he's a lilac try from a very reputable, all of them from really reputable top line kennels. Cause you know, somebody once told me that if you are no name in the business, like I'm a no name, I guess. If you're a no name, then the best thing to do is to breed to top studs. So studs I'm breeding to are, they're up and coming studs, but from known kennels. So, you got to get you a foundation female, man. I, I, man, I, I, she had a spa day, and I done, I done, I done bathed her, and I done got her cleaned up, and I did. She's glowing, man. She's shining. You know, look at her structure. She's not a train wreck. I, I don't like them bulldog looking dogs. I don't. I'm in the bullies, man. Bullies need to look like bullies designer dogs that's a holy that's a totally different story my vision is an apartment size or a smaller size smaller than pocket size american bully you know that's what that's that's what my vision is functional you know drive not a lazy dog not a table dog but a smaller a smaller pocket bully is what I'm after. That's what I'm after. Now this, she's a now. What I got here is a miniature American bully. She's as clean as they come, functional as they come. She has, she got exotic blood in her. She's a bape granddaughter. She does have the uh, heat stroke blood also. That that's what making her. That's why she's so clean. Um, but yeah. She is a foundation female, something to build on. Look, I mean, she, look, look at her. Come on now. Look at her. Come on. People are wanting, they want to charge me five grand to breed to the studs, and the studs don't look nowhere near as good as her. Don't function like her, or they won't show video of their studs. That's crazy. I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? I don't need to sell puppies for 10 Gs. I don't. But look at, look at, who wouldn't want to own this dog? Or a puppy off this dog bred to a proper stud. Come on, man. People take advantage of you when you ain't got no name. I know I got anxiety, but come on, I wasn't born yesterday. You know, I just got anxiety two years ago from a car wreck. You know, I wasn't born, I wasn't born, you know, mentally challenged. <laughs> so, come on, look, I mean, that's that's natural stacking right there. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not, the leash is on the ground. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not forcing her. I'm not forcing her to stack like that. She just stands like that. She just stands like that. I'm at my wife's job, ready to pick her up from work. We're just out here. I bring her out, ride. She loves riding, you know, but it's been summertime, so I haven't been able to ride her anywhere because 
she is susceptible to heat stroke because of that because of the exotic blood that's another thing i want to breed out i want to you know like my other bully that i have in the house my another female i have hope who's a who's a, a pocket bred pocket bred lucky luciano type blood frankie the freak female you know i could do more with her even though she's a puppy i can do more with her because she's not susceptible like this exotic blood is acceptable to heat strokes and stuff like that so it's getting cooler now here in maryland like 20 minutes outside of baltimore so foundation female man this is what you gotta start don't start with train wrecks don't start with raggedy dogs and try to breed them up pit bull looking dogs and oh you can fix everything by breeding no you gotta have a you gotta have a quality female first that'll put you ahead of the game anything coming off of her is going to be a foundation dog anything coming off of her bred to the right dog is going to be it's going to be what you need look Alicia's on the ground she's just standing like that she's stacking herself like that to the top line come on now they're head and shoulders she don't have bows she has straight fronts you know what i mean good fat rear short but full tail Oh, there's my mama. So this video just ended. So y'all keep it bully. Piece of hair grease. And we'll see you on the next one. Out.